Hey guys, thank you for coming back to another video that I am putting out for you guys. This one is Davina Cosmetics Inspired. Um, what I had done was asked for you guys to give me your opinions on what type of um, swatches you would like to see done. So majority ruled, everybody wanted to see the greens. So here we are. So. Thank you for coming today to watch this video. Whether you're watching this live now with me or you're catching this on the replay, I appreciate you so much for taking the time to support this um, swatch party that we're about to do. I have some of our greens here in different finishes, shimmers, multi-chrome, sparkles, and then I also have some of our mattes here. So we're gonna swatch a couple of these. The look that I'm wearing today I hope you guys like it. Do you like it? Is it nice? It's one of my favorites. I haven't worn it in a while. This is um, all over the lid is Hemisphere. And then I have uh, Karma, uh, per usual, on the outsides of my eyes. And then I have Kadra underneath and Orion for my inner corner. I was debating whether or not to use water mist for my inner corner or something a little bit um, sparkly. So I ended up going with Orion. And then my normal lip is MAC Night Moth Lip Liner and my NYX XXL Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unhooked. It's my favorite. I love it. Um, so if you're new here, my name is Deandra. I am the founder and the owner of Davina Cosmetics, which is all of the makeup that we're going to be swatching today. Um, if you're not into makeup content, but you just wanted to jump in, hang out, watch the video and um, chill with me for a moment, I appreciate you. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back again. Um, when I do my lives, I like to interact with you guys in the comments. So I'm going to jump over and see who's here. I just wanted to give a little spill intro, if you will, while people come in. I know it's St. Patrick's Day today. I got my green color going on. I try to wear a green shirt, and <laughs> this is not green. I don't know what I was thinking, but... It is what it is. Okay, so let's see. Hi, Christy. Oh, good. You found it. You were afraid that you're going to miss it? Miss most of it? Nope. You're here. You made it. Thank you for coming in. Hey, Kayla. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Did you do anything special today for St. Patrick's Day? Um, let's see. We have Mimi is here. Thank you, Mimi, so much. Green is my favorite color. Oh, no. Green is my favorite. And I, ha I have a lot of your greens on my wish list. Oh, I hope I can swatch a few of them. I have a lot of greens. I mean, I don't, I do and I don't. So I don't know if we're going to swatch all of them, but I want to swatch a lot of the more popular colors. Um, thank you, Christy. Alexandra, thank Alexandria, sorry. Thank you for being here. Greens and silvers. Now, green and silver is a very pretty combo. I've worn it once. And if you like a green and silver, I will swatch Earthshine, which is from the Moonscapes collection. And the Moonscapes collection, the bundle, it's a very special collection. The way I described it, um, the colors like in the product description on our website, Davina.com, is it's like taking liquid metal and or I'm taking, sorry, taking the color and dropping that color into like a vat of liquid metal that with the sparkles. So it's like a silvery sparkle with the green base underneath. And oh my God, it just, the shine is so pretty. You got to check that one out. Okay, let's see. Gagasita, hi, how are you? Thank you for coming back and hanging out with me. Hello, friend, Stephen. Thank you for being here. And Australia, Sue Ho. Oh, okay. Sue is your name and you're from Australia. Oh my God. What time is it there? I appreciate you being here with us. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the mats and get a few of those swatched. Um, because once I wipe 
those off. And then if I were to start with the sparkles and then wipe my hand off with the makeup wipe, I got all my stuff ready. I came prepared, you guys. I was like, I cannot wait to do my live today. I can't wait to swatch some of these greens. And I'm so happy for those of you that responded in my community tab. And then also the poll in Davina's diary, um, which is the broadcast channel on Instagram. I love the broadcast channel on Instagram. What I don't love is it's hard for people to, like, I want people to respond. I wish there was like a, um, like a, I wish it was a group chat instead of like just being a broadcast channel where I say things um, because I, I want the interaction. So, but I did put the sticker in there. I think it's the question poll or the question sticker asking if I were to do a live of swatches, what color story or color family or collection would you guys like to see? I didn't know if you guys would want to see a collection. I didn't know if you guys wanted to see like certain colors and majority was blues and greens. So for those of you who did respond to the broadcast channel, it's called Davina's Diary on Instagram or here on the community tab, I did um, do a little post and ask. Thank you so much for that because it definitely made my job a lot easier with everything else that I got going on. So. We will start with the mattes. Um, I do have all of our shadows stored in our Lucid Pro palettes, which we just restocked our Lucid Pro palettes. So if you guys were interested in these palettes, they're fabulous. Um, I have my greens down here, and then of course a couple of other colors. I have a bunch of blanks because I don't have every matte eyeshadow in this, these color families, I don't have them all in here. They're still scattered around the house when I am making new shadows, which we have a new collection coming pretty soon. Um, so I like to, you know, just swatch things together side by side. So down here is some of the greens that we're going to swatch. I'm going to show you guys what the most popular colors are. For one, there's three shades that I want to say my fingers feel a little moist. Um, from January, I did a search on our website. I could probably look here on my computer. Um, which shadows were the top sellers for the green mats? And the top three were Kadra, um, Sadati, and Fossic. And I was so shocked because Fossic and Sadati are actually my favorite out of the greens. They're darker colors and I love dark. So I was so happy when that happened. Let's see, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a mess today, you guys. For those of you watching the replay, um, I do have the option to where you can follow the live chat if you click on it. And then you can see what people are saying as you're watching this on the replay and try and follow along. It kind of feels like you're here in the moment without being here in the moment. Um, but I'm just going to jump back and forth because I do want this to be interactive for all of us here because I do appreciate you guys spending your time, especially on St. Patrick's Day today with me. Okay, let's see. I wish you could bring more colors in the Moonscape formula. Um, there is a few colors, but they just, because it's a silver sparkle, it they, they tend to blend, so I wanted to try and go like one color per hue of the rainbow. But, I mean, I definitely can, but I'm sure you've seen people complain <laughs> that things look too similar to each other. So, I just wanted to go one color um, from the rainbow. Mimi says, Earth Shine is so good. It is. I should have put on Earth Shine. Your green mats are my favorite. Oh my God, Steven, just speaking of Fossic Alfab, I thought Alfabo is going to be in the top. Now, when I did the report, when I pulled up to see what the top sellers were since January 1st of 2024, I did think that Alfabo is going to be one of the top because I see it all the time when I'm packing orders, but it wasn't. It was in the top. 
10, but the top three were, it went in the order of Sadati, um, Kadra, and then Fossick. I don't care either three. Those, those three are, are really pretty. Courtney is one of my top mattes from Davina, and it goes amazing with greens. It does. Courtney is one of those shades. For those of you that don't know, Courtney was a very popular matte eyeshadow. I mean, you guys, I was, I think when I first made it, I made a batch of, I think it was like 200, which is normally the, when I do a fur, like a, a matte color, I'll do, well, this was way back in the day, 200 quantity was a lot for us. Now we do way more than that. Um, Courtney was released, I believe in 2000, the end of 2016, beginning of 2017. And we actually were one of the first handmade brands that came out with a, like a, there's different words that I've seen people use it over time because, you know, we all perceive color differently. So the words that I, I seen describing Courtney was baby poop, um, duck poop, pea soup. Um, what was the other one? It was a baby food, a vegetable. Well, pea soup would still be the same thing, but it was some baby vegetable that they would compare it to. And it was super popular and it still is. It still is a good seller. So I'm glad that you do like Courtney. It's a good one. I should do a swatch along, but I'm in my PJs. No, Mimi, don't. And I have my, my towel here too, so that I can wipe everything off because... I know I'm going to get full of sparkles. Hi, Krista. Thank you for coming. I saw your message that you had left a few, I think yesterday it was, when you said you put on your notifications. Look at Mimi. Alexandria is telling you to go for it. Get full of sparkles, girl, in your pajamas. Um, yes, Alexandria, they do, but for good reason. I mean, you know. It's bad enough that a lot of people have dupes in their collection. So I like to just kind of make sure that I don't overlap too much. Sometimes it's inevitable to do overlapping. You're going to do it. You can't create a brand spanking new color. You just can't. No one can make a brand spanking new color. You just can't. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to start with those three greens from the mats that were top sellers. So I am gonna take my handy dandy tool because I do have long nails and I don't wanna dig into them. So I'm gonna take my tool and pull out the shades. And then I also am going to try, when I do the shimmers, I'm thinking of pulling you guys in so zooming in so that you can see the shifts of the shades. I don't know if we'll do it with the mats. You guys let me know what you think because what I'm seeing is very tiny on my viewfinder. So, and then I don't have, I'm, I'm not no fancy YouTuber. I don't have big, huge monitors to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going off of a two and a half inch LCD viewfinder screen and then a little tiny screen on my laptop. So you guys, you guys let me know what you think. So the first shade that we're going with is, this is Fawcett. This was number three. So hold on. Let me pull out Sadati. Because it was Sadati, Kadra, and then Fawcett. Okay, here we go. All right. So the first one is Sadati. And... Now, if you've never tried our mats before, we do have um, a lot of clays in our mats. So, and my hands were a little bit moist. So if you swatch your mats with your Davina mats, you wanna make sure that your fingers are completely free of oils or uh, like any moisture, because the clays that are inside our Davina mats, they will soak those oils like there's no tomorrow. So this again is a swatch of Sadati. It's so pretty and grungy. I actually have, I believe this is the color. Um, 
I have a, a photo on my personal Instagram page, Deandre Rain, where I think I'm wearing a similar look like this, but I don't know if it was Fossic or Sadati with Chromosphere. The photo in the thumbnail of this video, I'm actually wearing Karma with Moonlit. And then on my fingers is Chromosphere, which is beautiful too. Okay, next one. I'm getting ready to swap it without showing you guys. The next one is Kadra. And Kadra is a really pretty, I want to say it's like a grass green. And it's what I have on my lower lash. And this is what it looks like on the finger. I try to get festive with my green light. So that's Kadra. And I don't like swatching backwards because I can't see what I'm doing. So let me swatch it this way. So there we go. There's Kadra. Steven says he thinks he's used Fossic in like 70% of his custom pellets. I do not blame you, Steven, at all. One bit. Fossic is so pretty. I learned about the oils the hard way. I've had to scrape the top layer off of a few shadows. Yeah, it's because of the, the clays that I use in our mats. And that's what makes them like so buttery and blendable and smooth on the eyes. I love, you know, with mats, people are very particular with their mats. Consumers, I'm speaking of. Okay, now we're going into Fossic. So the first one is Sadati. Then we have Kadra. And now we're going to do Fossic. Um, people are very particular with their mats. I personally am very used to the MAC. Well, I can't say I am any. I'm sure I still am. It's like riding a bike, right? You never forget. I'm very used to the MAC Cosmetics matte shadows and their formula. And that was like my go-to, my ride or die back in the day before Davina was even born. And I'm used to kick up. I'm used to um, really dark pigment or like pigment that sticks. I'm used to trying different eye bases and eye primers to get the MAC to lay down. I can't tell you how many times I've tried um, drugstore eye primers to high end, to even MAC paint pots. And I mean, even some MAC uh, matte eyeshadows, they'll tug on the paint pots. I'm used to that. And with the formula that I have for our mattes, I've tried to mimic, sorry guys, I have to go this way because it's hard for me to do it the other way. I've tried to mimic the, um, okay, and there we go. There's faucet here. I've tried to mimic the formula of the MAC with my own ingredients, and I just love the way they perform on my eyes, especially my Karma. The black, in almost every look I wear, I have Karma on. Okay, so those were the top sellers since January of this year, January 1st, 2024. So if you don't have Sadati, Kadra, or Fossic in your collection I suggest if you like dark colors grungy more of like a grunge undertone these would be great in your collection even for just a little a little um color in your crease okay so let's see I'm gonna leave these on should I leave them on Will you put a list of the swatch shadows in the description box or a pinned comment? Ooh, um, I can do that. I didn't think of that. Good catch, Mimi. And I don't have no damn paper up here to write down what I've swatched. Damn it, I don't have no paper. That's going to be a no-go. I'm so sorry. I don't have any paper here to watch, but I do have another video coming up that I'm going to do with swatches. So I'll remember to write down the names as we're swatching them because I can write them down as we're swatching. I just don't have paper here. And then I can update it in the 
in the description or do like a pinned comment. Hi, Ayana. My MAC eyeshadows were my first single shadows in high school. I had so many colors. Oh my God, Kayla. My favorite, what was your favorite MAC eyeshadow? If any of you guys wore MAC, what was your favorite? Mine was Carbon. I loved Carbon. And then there was, I think it was called Black Tie. It was the matte black with red sparkle. I think that's what it was called, Black Tie. Black something. And then there was another one that was like a, a sparkly um like a taupe and I think it was called um oh my god what was the name of it glitz I think which I have one named the same thing it's hard for me to remember because of all the names I have okay so for our other mattes we're gonna go into some other light shadows that I feel are really good and very different than what you normally see not a native English speaker, so I sometimes aren't able to make the link between the written and spoken names. Got it. Okay. Oh, Stephen. <sighs> Stephen, if you can write the names down for me and then do that, that would be awesome. Are you able, since you're a moderator, Stephen, are you able to pin comments or no? I have no idea how that moderation stuff works. Okay, so I want to show you guys next is, this isn't the one, yes it is, this is Miranda. I know the green, my green background is probably going to throw these off. Okay, so this one is such a pretty, oh, I want to, when I swatch it, I want to swatch it a little higher so you guys can see it go on. Look at how pretty this one is. That's Miranda. And then let's go into... I want to go into Jaded. Jaded is a very good one also. It's more on the teal side. It leans a little blue. And we'll do this one right here. Mmm, that one's delicious also. Okay, and then another one that I want to swatch is, I'm excited to get into the shimmers. Okay, this one is one of my favorites. This one is called Ludic. It's a very pale shade, but it reminds me, the color of this, it reminds me of like, an era and I'm thinking like the 60s maybe like the, maybe the 50s transitioning into the 60s it's such a pretty color like we're gonna do this one right here where am I look at how it's almost like a pastel but it's not it is so pretty if you guys don't have Ludic in your collection, I do, I recommend these first three just because these are go-tos. Um, actually, I do recommend all of these. Jaded is beautiful too, but Ludic, this color, it just gives me like, it is so stunning. Okay, so let me clear that off of my hand. And then we're gonna get into some of the green browns. 
Hopefully I can dry this off really good. So did you guys do anything exciting today? Anybody pinch you? Were you wearing green? I want to make sure that my hand is really dry. Kayla says patina was a great brown and she loved rule their darker orange color from this is from Mac cosmetics. London fog. I do have London fog handy. London fog is also wonderful. Let me grab it. Uh, where is it? Hold please. Oh, shoot. Maybe I don't. Is it downstairs? Crapola. I don't think I have it in here. This is another color story that I really want to swap. I mean, a uh, color family. Hold, please, guys. I'm looking for my... London Fog. Do I not have it in here? I don't have it. If Roger was close by, I'd tell him to go pull one from my stock from inventory for us. But he's not close by. Okay, I do not have linen fog in here, and that's a good one. But linen fog, is that's a good one too. That also, there's something about Ludic that gives me like that 50s transition into 60s era, but London fog is also. I love, like, I feel it gives me more of the green-gray undertone. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade, especially if you wear it, like, in your inner corner. God, I wish I had that one in here. Oh. Okay, well, maybe on the next video, I'll remember to swatch that one. Okay, so I want to do patina. And I also want to do Grinch. Because Grinch is also a pretty one. Okay, so we're going to do Grinch. L Ludic and London Fog are good pairings. They are, Stephen. Gosh, I can kick myself right now for not having it. Okay, so this is Grinch. This green, oh, is beautiful. Okay, here we go. This is Grinch. Oh my God, it's such a pretty green. This one, actually, when I had blended up this color um, and I swatched it for the first time, I was like, oh my God, this looks just like the Grinch's hair. So that's why I was like, this is like a Grinch color. And that's obviously how it got its name from the Grinch. And then next I want to swatch is, I was already over here dipping my finger in it. This is patina. This is also a beautiful green color as well. Okay. And here we go. I should have swatched this one in the first color story. Such, these two together are beautiful. So that is patina. Okay, now I'm gonna pull these aside. And then we are going to move into, so I think we swatched uh, several of these. I really wanted to show you guys the top three though from 
this year. So again, this is Grinch and this is Patina. Was Patina in the Moonwell bundle that and Jessica had done? I can't remember off the top of my head if Patina was in there. It may have been, it may not have. So we had a, a um, we had put together a collection from our core line of eyeshadows. Actually, and Jessica did, Angelica Nyquist. She had um, put together some of her favorite eyeshadows, which a lot of people was so fun because a lot of people um, had said how much her, was it Club Nebula that she made? What was the the set that she had made? They said that the color stories were a little similar and that was so cool. I was so glad that she was able to get that done. Um, it was called the Moonwell Collection. You can still, I don't think it's on the website anymore, but all of the singles except for one are still available from that. There was one that we had to discontinue. Hey, Kimberly. That's how you found us, Minnie. Mimi, I'm sorry, Mimi. I'm trying to read everybody's things and I freaking said Kim's name with yours. <laughs> Um, okay, so now we are going to get into the bottom rows here. Let me flip, if I flip it up this way, then you're going to get blindsided by the, by the light. So we're going into these greens, but can we just take a moment? Oh my God, look at these shifts in some of these. Is that not pretty? This has a mixture. It's a combination. It has a mixture of multi-chrome, sparkles, and just our standard shimmer formulas. These aren't all of our greens. They're not all of our blues. I'm still missing things out of here. Um, I just had them all put together really quick so that I had some in here to swatch with you guys. But are these beautiful? These two. Look at the shift on these ones. See that? So pretty. Okay. Shifts just make me so happy. I know. Same here. I was so excited for these. Okay. So the first one that I do want to swatch. There's a lot in here that I want to swatch. Do we have time? We've been doing this for about 35 minutes already. We can. I think we can do it. I think we can get a good amount of these done. Okay, I do want to start with one that I think everybody is going to love. And that is, I'm going to start with a regular shimmer. We're going to do, this one is called Mermaid. And I think I have to hide my face for you guys to see this. It's just a regular traditional shimmer. Um, a beautiful green color. This is what it looks like on the finger. I think I'm going to pull you guys in. I think this is when I'm going to pull you in closer so that you can see. So let's, let's try that. I think if I pull you guys in, Can you see these swatches a little better? Let's see. How is that? Can you see it better now? This one is called Mermaid. Green to gold, Stephen? Let's see. I think Orion, which I'll sh I'll do that one also. Orion might be a good green to gold. Let me see. Okay, next we will do, oh my gosh, my menagerie is going crazy. Hold on guys, one second. Oh my Lord, have mercy. One second. 
This is why I love going live. You never know what the hell is going to happen. Hey, the dogs are going absolutely berserk in here. What? Zane is crying like a like a seal. Can you come grab the dogs or do something? When you started the car, they wigged out. I'm live. I got to go. Bye. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> that is not getting edited. Okay. So, we're going with Rainbow Blossom. Am I spinning it? I can't even see. There we go. Okay, Rainbow Blossom is part of the collection called Candy Cakes. This is what it looks like on the fingers. So here's, a, here's one that might be like a greenish gold, Stephen. Oh, how does it look with you guys being um, pulled in? Do you like this better? Can you see the swatches a little better? That's Rainbow Blossom. Okay, and then, God, I'm so excited to do these. I'm going to do Orion next. The Orion is what I have in my inner corner here of my eye. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is Orion. Whoop. Okay. Oh, that swatch went crooked. Hold on. Let's see. Orion is more of like a yellow green. Rainbow Blossom is a new to me shade and I love it wearing it today. Oh, are you Kayla? How cute. Okay, I took those three off. Now we're going to jump into one that you guys have seen time and time again. And this is one of the first shades when I was able to get my hands on this pigment when we started Davina. It was one of the first shades that I had to make. And MAC has this color. It's almost in every makeup palette. Every indie brand has it. Did I grab the right one? Yes. And this one that we have is called Rockstar. And it's that famous blue brown pigment but it's so good that's why everybody has it it's an awesome eyeshadow it's so good let me see can I go higher I mean how can you not go wrong with this color it's so good so that is rockstar it has that brown base with that green color which they call the blue brown pigment or the blue the blue brown eyeshadow you'll hear it referenced that way okay and then we are going to go into This is a new one. Now this one is Starborn. This is from the Fantasia collection. And I love this one, it's so pretty. Let me see, can you see that? Okay. I think I'm going to drop the lights low. That way you could get a better idea of the color. Let 
That is Starborn. This color is from Fantasia. Okay, and then we're going to go into This color is called Alu. This is like a standard traditional shimmer. Our traditional shimmers, we have a lot of sleepers. We have a lot of good ones. There's one in here that's a blue one that I want to do on the next video swatch party that I do with the blues. So beautiful. Everybody needs it. This is one of those also. This one is called Alu. It's a traditional shimmer. And I hope to God that traditional shimmers start coming back. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love our multi-chromes. Obviously, I'm wearing one on my eyes today. And multi-chromes are so versatile. You just need one eyeshadow to get three or four different colors on your eyelid from the shift of the multi-chrome. So they're, they're fantastic eyeshadows, but there's nothing like a traditional shimmer. There's nothing like it. They're just, they're great. They're easy one and dones. Um, they don't, you know, they're not very, they're not very hard to work with. They're, they're just, they're just good. So this one is called Alu and I am going to I think I did that one a little wider, but this color is beautiful. Come on, zoom in. Did I get a little chunky chunk right there? I did. Look at how pretty this color is. It's gorgeous. Mm. So that's a Lou. This one is beautiful. Okay, let's see. I want to make sure I got everything off my finger. A Lou is so pretty on my wish list. Yes, put it on your wish list. You'll love it. I promise you. Okay, another one that I want to show is this one is called Thalassic. And this is almost like another blue brown pigment. but with a twist. It's beautiful too. And do I have room to put it up there? I don't. Okay. I was going to see if I had room to put it up by a rock star, but I don't. Can you see me swatching it right here? So the base on the Lassic is more of like a reddish orange color. You could tell that the base is, see that? The bases between Rockstar up here and then this is the Lassic are different. This has more of a lime green color and it's beautiful. Now, the thing with the Lassic, there's, there's five different colors that we have. This comes from the collection called the Multichrome Madness. The reason why I named it the Multichrome Madness is these powders were... Um, they do shift more than, it's between three or more colors. And these powders I snagged and I had created when the whole multi-chrome craze had just started. These were only $8 versus the expensive, I mean, I remember when multi-chromes first came out, there was upwards, they were going for $23, um, some brands, there was like maybe two brands that only had the multi-chrome eyeshadows. So I called it the multi-chrome madness because you can still get three or more eyeshadow or three or more color shifts in an eyeshadow for eight bucks. So this is from the multi-chrome madness. Um, it is an $8 shadow. This one is called the Lassic. My other favorite from the multi-chrome madness collection is Pavanine. Those two colors, Pavanine and the Lassic, beautiful eyeshadows gorgeous so again and of course I love this one because it's so much it's like the same they like they're siblings or maybe even cousins the Lassic and Rockstar okay so let me wipe those off because I don't think I have well I could put some right there but 
I'm just going to wipe it off and then we're going to go on with some more. We'll do just a couple more. Okay, this next one I'm going to do is a all-time fan favorite. Um, everybody goes crazy for the shade. This one is Fairy Fire. And I do have this in my greens because although in the pan it looks yellow, it does have, let me see, can I catch it? It does have like a green shift. I can't catch it in here, can I? Maybe because I'm too close to the lights. Oh, there we go. So it does have a green shift and the yellow base, it is semi-transparent. So although it looks yellow in the pan, it's not really, look at that. It is so not yellow in the pan. And Fairy Fire is the epitome of a dragonfly wing. And that's why I called it Fairy Fire. Actually, I called it Fairy Fire for a couple of reasons because growing up when I was young, I used to have this doll that had that, um, you know, that mylar fabric, that crunchy fabric that shifted a bunch of different colors. If you're in your late 40s, like I am, you know what type of toys I'm talking about. Rainbow Bright, her skirt and her, her straps on her um, overalls had that fabric. Um, She-Ra had that fabric. Um, there was another one. The Popples had that fabric on their bellies. Um this reminded me of that, but it also reminded me of, have you guys ever used the magic fire powder that you put in like bonfires and it makes your fire flame turn different colors? When I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it looks like dragonfly wings plus the toys that I had when I was little. And it looks like the bonfires that we do. So... That's how Fairy Fire was born. This one, let me see. So this one shifts every stinking color of the rainbow. Let me put the pan back so that I can. Can you see that pink? What if I go this way? If I go this way, what does it do? Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you can see that pink, purple. It has teal. It does give you that yellow base. Oh, my gosh. Fairy Fire is popular for a damn good reason. This eyeshadow is gorgeous. I love this eyeshadow. So pretty. Okay, next we're going to go into, I'm going to go into another new one. Now this is another, um, a big multi-chrome too. This one is Echidna. Echidna is from Mystic Cove. And this one is like the green to pink type of shadow that everybody's going crazy for. It, a lot of people like this in nail polish too, the green to pink. So this one is called Echidna. It's from the Mystic Cove collection. And let me see. Oh, look at that blue from Fairy Fire. And it has like that purple tinge. Oh, I guess I could do the swatches like this. It looks like it's a little bit easier. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? That's Echidna. Okay. I also want to do... Chromosphere. I'm going to do two more and then... We'll go ahead and end our, our video. This is Chromosphere. This is an extension to the Aurora Flares. 
this one is absolutely beautiful too you guys because it has like that grungy undertone oh my god this is summer i'm wearing this tomorrow too look at this that's chromosphere oh look at that Hold on, I'm trying to get all the angles, baby. All the angles. Give them to me. Give them to me. Yes, I love it. Okay, and then the next one is what I'm wearing on my eyes. This one is Hemisphere. Now, I love Hemisphere because it has, when you're looking at it straight on, you see that? that color it's like taupe with a chocolate kiss taupe with a chocolate kiss so it has almost like a brown tinge to it um you can kind of see it on my eyes here in this area it's like a oh it's just gorgeous I don't have words for this this is hemisphere see that's what I'm talking about this brown color it's like taupe with a a chocolate kiss Oh my God, I love it. But hold on, let me twist it some more so you can see all the colors in it. These two colors, these two extensions to the Aurora Flare collection, which is our, our black base multi-chromes. I wanna say these are my favorite out of those. But actually, let me do one more out of that because this one is Borealis. We do have Polaris, which is like the green. It has green, blue, and purple. But Borealis, this is more of like a teal blue, a teal green, and then a bluish purple. And this one is good too. I wish this one was just as loved in the collection as like Australis or Polaris because this is a beautiful shadow color also. Do you see that? Oh my God, it's so pretty. I love this one. Okay, and then let me do one more because there's one more here that I feel you absolutely will love if you have it in your collection and you never tried it like this. I feel you'll love it so much. If you don't have it in your collection, then I feel you should add it to your wish list, right? For your next Davina order, add it to your wish list because it makes the most beautiful inner corner highlight for your eyes. No matter what you're wearing, you wear this with pinks, it looks beautiful. You wear it with a red, it looks beautiful. You wear it with blue, gorgeous gorgeous you wear it with a brown eyeshadow hold please I need to pick my jaw up off the floor it is it's fabulous everybody should have it everybody should own it it's one of those shades that I think people should just have as a staple because it just looks that good for an inner corner highlight if you like to 
highlight your, your inner corner area. And like I said earlier, I was going to wear this one as my inner corner highlight, but I wanted to change it up and do something a little bit different. I haven't worn Orion in a very long time. And so that's why I dabbed it on. And I like to carry, when I do my inner corner, I like to carry it over onto my lash line just a little bit to kind of tie in my lower lash look. And Lock says, Lock Maiden says, water mist. Yes, this is water mist. And this is the shadow that I think, let me put it on my little. This is the shadow that everybody should have in their collection. So if you do not have water mist now, add it to your wish list. If you have water mist in your collection and you've never tried it as an inner corner, I promise you, you'll love the shadow. And I promise it looks good with any color that you pair it with. So let's do, let me dry my hand off a little more. I want my hand dry. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm so glad you guys chose the greens. I cannot be any more happier that you guys chose greens. And it happened to be on St. Patrick's Day. And we're swatching greens. We're having a green party on St. Patrick's Day. Now, these aren't all the greens that we have. We do carry more greens, but these are just the standout shades that I wanted to show you along with some traditional shimmers that I feel are very good to use as well. And those again were Alu, Rockstar, and Mermaid. Those three greens I feel are, they're, they're good. They're good to have in your collection. They're great to pair with the mattes, especially brown or green mattes, beautiful. But water mist, water mist is, I mean, if you only use water mist for an inner corner, you need nothing else. You need nothing else as an inner corner shade. Like wear it with every color. It is gorgeous. It's stunning. It's so pretty. Um, but I hope you guys like this. So what I want to do next is have another swatch party where we go through and um, swatch. I'm just going to give you a little sample. We have more. Look at how pretty this one is. This is um, Eternal Night collection down here. Those are mats. Neutrals. Anybody a neutral lover? Oh, wait, this isn't my neutrals, is it? Yeah, it is. It is my neutrals. Oh my God. Neutrals, neutrals. Does anybody love neutrals? Should we swatch neutrals? This isn't all the neutrals that we have either. I love neutrals. Do I wear them all the time? No, because I like to wear shadows like this. Do I love wearing them though? Yes, I do. I love them. We have purples. Do we need to swatch some purples? Yes, we do. So I'm going to leave another, um, poll, I guess it is, or the question feature. That's what it is. A question feature in the Davina's Diary broadcast channel on our Instagram page where you can request what type, if you want a collection swatch, we can jump on live and do a 15 minute video, a 15 minute live of just doing a collection. I'm absolutely 100% okay with that. I love being here with you guys. If you want to do another color family, if you have specific, um, shadows in the color family, which I should have done for this video. I should have asked you guys. Let me zoom you guys back out. Should have asked you guys what type of shadows in the green family would you have liked to see? And that way I could have pulled those out and then swatched them for you. Even if you don't make it to the live, there's always the replay, which you can catch this on at a later time. So I'll do that. If there's a color family that I end up choosing, I'll let you guys know what color family it is. And then if you have a specific color within that color family that you would like to see 
um, swatch, then just let me know as well, either here in my community tab or in Davina's diary on Instagram. It's the broadcast channel. So if you're not part of that, go ahead and join it. I rarely post anything in there, you guys. So don't feel like you're going to get spammed with all kinds of I don't know, whatever. I don't do that with my email list from our website. I don't spam you email, a new collection or a sale going on. I don't like to spam you guys with information in my Davina's diary. I do have the blogs on our website though. I have um, Davina's diary on the website. I have um, shop updates on the website. And then I also have for this channel, I have a lifestyle of a CEO blog on there where I'll put some information if you guys ever want to follow up on anything. So with all of that said, I appreciate you so much for being here. Thank you for taking the time out of your day, out of your holiday today, if you celebrate. If you don't, that's cool too. I didn't do much either. Um, I do have a green drink though. It's the rain. Well, I try to keep it on, on brand with the color theme, right? Um, but I appreciate you guys for being here, hanging out and spending your time with me. You didn't have to, but you are. And just your support of being here, watching my video and seeing me swatch all of our green eyeshadows. It's fun, right? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you saw some shades that you didn't know that we carried. Um, maybe you saw some of your favorites. Either way, I'm happy that I was able to show that to you. So like I said, head over to our Instagram and when you have time and I will post another um, question sticker and then I'll also put it in the community tab here because I want to do more of these with you. I love doing the swatches. I feel that it's fun to see those, see different colors and maybe see shadows that you haven't seen before. So again, thank you for watching on the replay. If you're here, you can follow along the chat. Um, it's a fun feature to have as well. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great day um, or night, wherever you are. Talk to you soon. Bye.